everyone, Linda Israel here, and one of my admin in the Finally Junk Journal People group asked that I show some ideas of how to use rubber stamps in your junk journal. So I've got a few things laid out here that I thought we could work on, and I'll show you what we can do with them. So the first thing that I've got is a page out of a dictionary that I've cut down to be the size that I want. And then I have a rubber stamp here that's a block rubber stamp. It's no longer made by Stampabilities, but if you don't have a square like this, you could use a flat piece of an old food tray. You could use a piece of fun foam and maybe an object around your house that's kind of squarish in shape. So what we're going to do is take this little tray and I've got some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist in Curious and I'm going to take this and make sure that I shake it because the mica that is in here needs to be in the liquid. So you shake it up just a little bit and I'm just going to spritz this one time. I'm going to take my block and kind of put it in here pretending that it's like a stamp pad with that ink and I'm okay with it looking rather blobby on here because I'm just wanting a little block of color so the next thing I'm going to do is take this block and somewhat in the upper portion of this I'm going to stamp and I'm going to let that set on the paper and what that'll do is that'll transfer the tattered angels to the paper if you're stamping and you're not getting a good impression maybe you're not leaving the stamp on the paper long enough so now i'm going to lift this up and they'll just be this little blue box like thing i'm going to use my heat tool to dry it so i can move on to the next step so now that is dry i've got some detail ink from Brutus Monroe and I have a little bird stamp so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to march this across my stamp pad I am not rocking it nor am I pounding really hard I'm just going to march it across to make sure that the whole thing has got a good coverage of ink on here and then on this little piece of paper kind of in the lower left corner I'm going to stamp the bird near that little block Again, I'm holding it for just a few seconds, and then I'm going to let go of that. And so we've got a cute bird in there. The next thing I'm going to do is got this little stamp of a flower, and I've got some dusty concord, concord ink, and I'm just going to ink this up by adding the purple where I think the flower is. And then I've got crushed olive distress ink. And I'm going to put that where I think the green part of this is. And then I'm going to stamp this kind of going over the right hand side and down. It's going to go off the page, which is okay. So now we've got a little bit of that stamping color there. And then I have another little stamp that is some postage stamp. And it's from Inka Dinka Doo. I know you can still get this one. I looked it up on the internet. And I'm going to take that and just barely stamp it up here at the top so it kind of gives that postcard look to it. Now, I want this to have a really sturdy base to it because I'm going to make it into a pocket on the element that I make today. So what I'm going to do is glue this to a piece of just cardstock that's the same size. So I'm using the best glue ever with the regular nozzle on here because I want a nice amount of glue and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue directly onto the paper and make a bead all the way around a little zigzag in the middle and then I'm going to line this up with this piece of paper here I'm going to set this aside for a moment I've got a little card that I've made just cutting it down, I wanted it to be smaller than this because this is going to be my tag to go behind. And I'm going to use my Distress ink and go around the edge. And then I have a punch that's a little heart that I punched out of some glitter cardstock. Isn't that yummy? So I've got this little heart here. And what I'm going to do is on the back side of that, I'm going to put a little bit of glue. Oops, that's way more than I need, so I'm going to use the, my nozzle 
to spread that around. And I'm only going to put it on half of this heart. And then I'm going to take this and put it right about the center of this journaling card with it hanging off the side. And then I'm going to let that dry for a minute or two while I can work on the next portion. <clears throat> so I have a book page that is about five and a half by eight and a half in size. Yours may vary. It may be bigger or smaller than what I have here. So I've just got this book page that I thought was a good base for an altered paper clip. So I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm looking at it to see which way I want, but it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to fold it in half again. I'm going to open it back up and I'm going to take the best glue ever and I'm going to put a little bead of glue on the inside of this and close it. So I'm just going to use my hands to smooth that out. If I want, <clears throat> I can also use a bone folder to help spread that glue. It kind of mushes it out and really gives good coverage. So now I've got this piece that is ready to put a paper clip on. So I've got a little paper clip. And what I like to do is I like to have the big portion on the back and I put it right in the center where I can close this up and it'll catch and it'll stay down low. I'm going to use the best glue ever. I'm going to put a bead right inside the paper clip, around the paper clip, and then I'm going to go all the way around on one side of this since it's going to be closed and kind of do a little zigzag all the way down. Then I'm going to press this close. And I'm just using my fingers to help smooth that out. I'm going to use my Distress Ink and go around the edge. I'm going to go to the bird piece that I stamped and I'm going to go around the edge of it as well. And then I'm going to place this onto my altar paper clip. I'm going to glue on three sides leaving an opening for my little journal card that I made. Then I have a little word that I cut on my silhouette and used my print and cut feature there. Now I'm going to use some Distress Ink around the edge and I want to place this in the center on the bottom. So I'm going to add a little bit of the best glue ever again and then place that right down here. So there is my little altered paper clip that I made and I want to show, oh wait, let's add the little tag that slips in right here so it just kind of partially sticks out and then I have another journal card or new, another one that I made and on this one before I put the little card onto the base I zigzag stitched around it. So there are two ways to do the same thing. You can zigzag stitch if you don't have a sewing machine you can leave it plain you could take a pin and make some marks all the way around. I hope you like seeing another idea of being able to use your rubber stamps to make elements for your junk journals. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, comment below what you thought about this project, or share ideas that you may have or maybe that you want to see. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so and make sure you hit that notification bell in the upper corner. Let's see, what else? Check out the description box for links to my blog as well as the other items that I use here today and my social media connectors, including my Facebook groups. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a fabulous day. Bye.